Joining me on Exploring the Block today is Herb Gibson, CEO, and Brianna Swamson, the Digital Strategist and Innovation Specialist for Gap Pro. Welcome to Exploring the Block. Hi, Thank you. how are you? All how right, you? so tell me what is Gap Pro and what inspired you to create this technology? So, uh, Gap Pro is a data sharing platform where we share data uh, between stakeholders to do verification. So we share that data seamlessly and securely uh, ut utilizing blockchain technology to be able to relay that information out to those stakeholders who have an interest in it when it comes to insurance verification, for example. So banks are huge with insurance verification. Construction companies are huge with insurance verification. And so uh, we have relied on 20th century technology called pieces of paper uh, to do this type of verification before and that's what inspired me. I've got 20 years experience in the insurance business and I owned an insurance agency and I had to produce these certificates of insurance documents out to these stakeholders. So it took away from me being able to make money basically. Uh, so I decided to start a quest to develop a company uh, that could digitize that data and democratize that data and allow it to be shared seamlessly. Well, let's talk a little bit about that. So you're, you've ripped up the, the paper protocol, and now it's all about the ledger of blockchain. Tell me how you incorporate blockchain technology into your work. Yeah, so um, blockchain basically in the insurance business, insurance has been trying to figure out blockchain for a few years in terms of some useful applications. And so when it comes to verifying insurance, uh, for example, banks have all these assets um, that they are on loans for. Well, basically, uh, blockchain can replace me. Talk to me a little bit about some of the applications of blockchain that GapPro is developing in the insurance and financial services. The cool thing that GapPro does is it takes documents, transactional data, and any data events, and it will actually make them compliant to be safe. And so what we're able to do is take those documents, turn them into data that can be transferred and shared between our stakeholders and allow them like a customizable solution so that they can view it and they can share it the way that they want to. Ah, yeah. that's, that's a, definitely a problem solved. Yeah. Now tell me a little bit how your current projects can potentially impact the future of insurance. How can this change the way we've done things and lead us into the future? Sure. So um, thinking about going back to banking. Uh, currently banks have all these assets in their portfolio and currently they uh, request these, these assets to be verified with insurance. Well, they call me the agent and I supply a certificate of insurance today. But there is no way for that bank to know tomorrow if that insurance is still in compliance or not. And so by digitizing this data and democratizing this data, we allow the bank to have a seamless transaction of that insurance verification process. And not just in that instance, but also on an ongoing continuous basis because the information, when the information changes, we get the relay of information and we, we disseminate that information to banks. Um, you can take any industry, whether you're shipping goods, uh, doing construction with subcontractors, um, whether you own a building and you have people that lease um, space in your building, these are all applications that allow for the process to happen seamlessly and, and directly mm -hmm. uh, without having to go through the cumbersome process of, hey, call my agent. Third the party. Agent, the third yeah. party, absolutely. Yeah. And then for, from speaking from an agent's perspective, we basically can't recover from this expense because it's a sunk cost to every agent in the entire country. Wow. So, you know, as we know, we're continuously evolving into a more connected world. What are some of the opportunities that you're developing in the future with this technology? Yeah, so as far as a connected world, I'm wearing a device on my wrist right now that connects me to some information about me, how many steps I'm taking, my heart rate, anything to that effect. Well, that is actually usable data that you can develop applications from, you can develop new products from. And so for example, if someone wanted to buy life insurance, now you have a more granular way of determining the outcome of that potential life insurance versus the current way of analyzing mortality charts um, from an actuarial standpoint. So it's combining actual, the actuarial uh, process with the data science that's going on today by as we gather data and we create these risk profiles that can be abundant on everyone. So everyone has a risk profile. Mm -hmm. You, me, this, these buildings, everything. 
well, has a risk profile. And in the super connected world, it takes a lot of, it takes a village basically to, right. to make these changes and make them safe and make them work for everyone involved. So who are some of the strategic partnerships that, you're, you're, that you've already established and how will that affect you with your business and the entire industry? Yeah, so um, some of the strategic partnerships that we've established, we have um, a partnership with the on-demand insurance company that, that does insurance for storage units. So when, when you buy a storage unit or want to store your, your, your goods inside a storage unit, um, we have a company that, that basically you can just swipe left, swipe right, and buy insurance at that moment. But what's, what's, what's good about that is when, when instances of floods or, or bad storms mm -hmm. happen, um, a lot of people find out that they didn't have coverage. Well, this is on demand, so basically you, you, you have that information at your disposal anytime and at, at, at all times, basically. Also, some of the other things that, some of the other partnerships we have are with um, an international bank. And I'll let Brianna talk a little bit more about that. Um, so go ahead. So basically, one of the projects that we are in development of is trying to figure out how to marry the solution of insurance and banking. We know that banks have assets on their books, so we know that those have to be insured. So we want to take that data and supply it to banks to where we know that you have asset acquisition, we know that you have risk transfer, but we want to simplify the process so that you can assess what the best decision that you should make for those assets. Talk a little bit more about that, like especially with data collection and data sharing. I mean, big news as of late, obviously, with the rollout of GDPR and the California cybersecurity legislation. So how does a platform like GAPPRO um, affect that? And what are some of the strategies that you guys are deploying to address these issues that we're all affected by? Yeah, so one of the first strategies that we have is GAPPRO is a permission-based um, data sharing platform. So we ask for your permission to share that data and we create value for that data uh, that comes back to you in the form of new applications, um, anything to that nature where you get a benefit from the sharing of that data versus when you share the data with Facebook or some other uh, platform, um, you didn't necessarily, sure where it's going. you didn't Correct. not sure where it's going. Yeah. Correct. Right. Yeah. So that trail, that whole blockchain, that, that opportunity to share that data seamlessly and securely is is what we're Putting, putting our stake in the ground on. And another thing we're doing is we're using technology like that's simple, like KYC onboarding, monthly AML monitoring, and we're taking those simple solutions and now doing future assessments of the mm -hmm. customer to where we're collecting their current profile, but on a monthly base, based on their permission, we're collecting data from them that may change in real time. Oh that we can also, it does, change. it does change, so that we can constantly communicate that to our stakeholders. So if, if people are interested in learning more about your company, tell us the website and tell us where, where else we can find you. Mm -hmm. Yep, so the website is, is www.gapro.io, mm -hmm. uh, or you can check out our other website, www.gaprosystem.com as well. And GAPRO is an acronym for what again? <laughs> Global Asset Protection Repository Optimization System. I know that's a mouthful, so that's why. Yeah, pros I easier. <laughs> <laughs> that works. That's memorable. Well, Brianna, thank you, and Herb, thank, thank you so you. much thank for you. all that you do. And please check out gappro.io. And thank you so much for watching Exploring the Block. I'm Anna Berry. We'll be right back.